The next model which we are talking of is the unit membrane model. of plasma membrane and this was proposed by Robertson. According to Robertson, uh, the model has beta fibrous proteins. There is a difference. So we will talk about the points which are common according to Robertson's model as well as Daniel and Davson's model. Few points which are common, we will write those points first. That plasma membrane is protein and phospholipid membrane. It has difference, we will write a little later. Phospholipid molecules are amphipathic, same as given by uh, Daniel and Davson. Arrangement. of phospholipid same as sandwich model that means this is all same the only different point which was given by Robertson was that the proteins are beta fibrous proteins in case of Daniel and Davson's model what they told about protein was that proteins are alpha globular. But here, the difference was that Robertson said that the proteins are not globular, they are fibrous. Globular proteins were spherical and the fibrous proteins, they are thread-like proteins. Arrangement is same. Arrangement of proteins and phospholipid is same as was given by uh, Daniel and Davson. There was one extra information which was given by Robertson. The extra information was thickness of plasma membrane was mentioned by him. So the thickness is 75 to 100 angstroms. So we have a combination of three things. Some information same as which was given by Daniel and Davson in their sandwich model. One information was extra and that was about protein. And one information was additional, which was not given by Daniel and Dapson, that is the thickness of plasma membrane. Now, again, taking this information, if we draw the model, the arrangement of phospholipid as bilayer, same as was mentioned by Daniel and Dapson, and the same has been mentioned by Robertson. Proteins on either side. Instead of globular, now we have to make the fibrous proteins. So, these are the thread-like proteins which we are drawing here. So, fibrous proteins instead of globular. Arrangement is same. The phospholipid bilayer is in the middle. On either side is the protein layer. Now, after this, will this model be able to explain the properties? So, let us... Check this model on the basis of those three properties. Will it allow the entry of fat-soluble substances? Fat-soluble substances could come through proteins, through heads, tails, as well as other, all layers. That means entry of fat-soluble substance is possible through this membrane also. Daniel Davson's model, that is sandwich model, were also showed that fat-soluble substances can come in. This is fat soluble. Water soluble, if this water soluble substance comes in, it can come in up to the head part because head is hydrophilic polar part. Tails are hydrophobic. Again, this band which is there is the hydrophobic band. So according to this, no water soluble substance can enter. And if this is the case, that means the model has to be rejected. But we will check it on the other point also. The second point was variable protein to phospholipid ratio. Again, let us take this much part of the plasma membrane. And the ratio is protein to phospholipid. 1, 2, 3, 4 phospholipids. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 threads of proteins or fibers of proteins. So ratio comes to this. When will the ratio change? The ratio will change only when either the protein moves or the phospholipid moves. Same as Daniel E. Dyson did. The same thing or same mistake we should say was done by them. No information was given about the movement of the particles. And if the particles do not move, the ratio cannot change. And if particles don't move, that means the membrane is rigid, static membrane. So again, it could not explain all three properties. No entry of water-soluble substance was explained or rather entry of water-soluble substances could not be explained. Variable protein to phospholipid ratio also was not explained and the dynamic nature also was not explained. So these were the three drawbacks and then this model also got rejected. So we have seen two models. One which was given by Daniel e. and Darson that is sandwich model of Danieli and Davson and the second one is the unit membrane model of or given by Robertson. They have few things which are very common with one difference and that is the protein type. These membranes, they have three layers. That means protein layer, one layer, the phospholipid layer and the protein layer. That means there are three layers as such. Outer protein, middle phospholipid, inner protein. In case of Danieli's model as well as in case of Robertson's model. And that is why these two models, that is unit membrane and sandwich model, together are known as lamellar models or they are also known as trilamellar models and both have been rejected on the basis of the properties which they could not explain. So in case of Robertson's model there was one change from the, uh, the characters which were given by Daniel E. Davison, that was the protein part. And there was an extra information given that was about the thickness of plasma membrane. So these are two models together. They are known as lamellar models or trilamellar models and both have been rejected because they could not explain the properties of plasma membrane. Now in the next part, we will be taking another model that is the fluid mosaic model.